welcome to this time out with Marcos Okure. Uh, there's this thing that has been happening, this uh, feud between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Now, in the uh, last few days, we've witnessed uh, a massive show of love from uh, Ukrainians um, and uh, all over the world, people have been showing some sort of empathy and uh, great concern, you know, on the part of Ukraine. Um, the lesson objective I've come to understand, you know, from the perspective of Ukrainians, the massive love, show of love from the citizenry, you know, we've witnessed in the last few days people coming back from all over the world, Ukrainians coming back from all over the world, you know, um, back to their country to come and fight for their country, fight to defend their country. Wow, that's interesting. Now, beyond, you know, this uh, uh, um, uh, uh, frenzy of war, uh, beyond the show of love, the concern and all that from all over the world, you know, I, I really feel there's so much lesson objective for African countries to learn from what is currently happening. And uh, in this short video, you know, I want to be talking about specifically two major personalities, you know, who have, you know, joined the, the crowd, you know, to show great love for their country. And who are these people I'm talking about? Number one, Vitaly Glitschko. Now, Vitaly, Vitaly Glitschko, is a heavyweight boxing champion. He was our heavyweight boxing champion, like we all know. You know, a brave man, you know, at his level, somebody who is a millionaire, a millionaire in hard currency, you know, who has so much money to uh, uh, jet off Ukraine. He is a mayor of Kiev in Ukraine. And rather than jetting out of Ukraine in the midst of this conflagration, this man decided to stay back in Ukraine, join the army, and you can see his picture over there. You can see his picture there, you know, dressed up in army uniform, and he's fighting for his country to defend his country. Wow, that's amazing. Now, he's a brave man. Now, another great example is that of uh, um, Alexander uh, Usyk, now a current heavyweight boxing champion. He just defeated Anthony Joshua and he made some millions, two cool million, millions for himself, dollars. So he is a millionaire in dollar based in the UK. Do you know this man just flew back home to Ukraine to fight for his country, to defend his country? Wow, this is amazing. Now, this is a great lesson or should be a great lesson objective for African leaders, for Africans. What do I mean? How many Africans will, really tru will truly volunteer to fight for Africa if perhaps one of the African countries is to be in the shoes of Ukraine? How many of us Africans will truly say yes, irrespective of our personalities, you know, go fight for to defend our, you know, uh, uh, territories? That is a big question for everyone to ponder over. Now, one of the fundamental reasons or reasons a, a, a citizenry will be willing to stick off their necks for their countries, for their nations, is simply, you know, a, a show of love from the leadership. Is simply quality delivery of leadership to the people. Now, one of the fundamental problems African, African countries have suffered from over time is problem of leadership. With Nigeria inclusive, our leaders have not actually displayed so much responsibility, you know, and they've not given so much by way of quality leadership to the citizenry. So the citizenry most times do not really find something to die for. They've not find the reason or the need to give back to Africa. A few days ago, I made a video on my recent concept, my new concept, tagged generalized individualism, which has to do with giving back to your country or to your continent. How many Africans? The challenge with Africa is that Africans have not developed the, 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 the willpower and the willingness to give back to Africa. You know, rather we give back to, you know, uh, um, outside to countries outside Africa by stealing from Africa to even go and invest abroad. Now, the successful business people in Africa, 
the successful individuals in Africa in uh, 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 in Christianity, that's in 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 the in the, uh, in the religion sector or religious sector, in business sector and various sectors, who have succeeded. Many of them have private jets today, you know. But how many of them are truly giving back to Africa? That is the question. Now imagine these two wonderful personalities going back to their country to give back, to defend their country. Now they are taking their lives, taking their, their assets, their families to fight for, to defend their countries. So it's a great lesson objective for uh, African leadership. We must be responsible to the citizen, uh, our citizens. We must show high level of commitment to bettering the lives of the citizen because life is all about give and take. It's symbiotic in nature. Now, when you give to the citizen by way of quality leadership, when you are responsible and responsive to your citizens by way of creating a good modern amenities for them, ensuring life is better for them. Look at Nigeria, the situation we are facing in Nigeria today. The average Nigeria cannot even afford fear anymore. No fear. You can't even get the fear to buy. There's queue everywhere. People are suffering. You know, we don't have stable power supply. We don't have light uh, fear to power our generators and plants. You know, this is, 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 is killing, it's is, is annoying. You know, so that is why Nigerians, for instance, will not be willing to fight to defend their country when such a thing like this happens. So our government must learn from what is happening in Ukraine right now. And not just government alone, the citizens, the wealthy Nigerians and wealthy Africans who have made success from Africa must also think about this because it's a great lesson objective for everybody. You know, we must defend, for us to defend our country, the country must give to the people and the people must also have the mentality of investing and giving back to the uh, um, country. Now, this is where I'll be putting a stop to it today. Thank you very much for staying glued to uh, uh, this edition till I come your way in our next edition. Still your friend, Marco Sekure. Keep flying, nothing will stop you. Bye for now.